We're here with Colleen Fraser, publicist for the Globe Theatre. Thank you, Colleen, for taking time to talk with us. The Globe Theatre just announced its 2012 and 2013 season. We're excited to see that this year's family production is The Wizard of Oz. What can families, especially the kids, expect to see? Well, I think everybody knows the story of Wizard of Oz. They know the, that it's just such a magical tale, and they can expect to come to the Globe Theatre and see the stage absolutely transformed into the, into the Emerald City and into the Land of Oz. Um, it's going to have outstanding music. It's going to have stunning costumes. It's going to be a really fun theater experience for not only kids, but for adults, anybody who's familiar with the story. And I'm really excited about it, and I know that a lot of other people are as well. What ages would you recommend the show for? Um, we're lucky enough at the theater to be able to accommodate kids as, low, as young as four years old. So four years old to 80 years old, we know that people are going to come and really enjoy the story. Okay. Our readers are busy parents who might be in search for a great date night. What production would you recommend? Something humorous or something that parents would relate to or well, as a couple? The rest of our season is a fantastic lineup. It starts off with Billy Bishop Goes to War, which it's a, the story of a young, colorful scrapper from Owen Sound, Ontario, who unexpectedly kind of becomes a hero for Canada and is thrust into uh, wartime to the wartime experience. Um, great songs, uh, great acting, of course, it's going to be great acting. Uh, we also have Henry and Alice Into the Wild, which is the sequel to Sexy Laundry. So even if people have, didn't see Sexy Laundry, it's a story that's really going to be a lot of fun for them to experience. But if they did see Sexy Laundry, they know what to expect and they know it's going to be fantastic. Uh, we also have Pride and Prejudice. It's going to be um, an adaptation of the Jane Austen novel, and that's going to be just beautiful costumes, a beautiful set, and a, really a classic love story that made that comes to life. And it's the story that made Jane Austen really the modern Kurt Taylor of love stories. Uh, we also have I Claudia, which would be a, an appropriate show for kids who are a little bit older. Um, it's about a 12 year old girl who calls herself a detective, and she has two pet goldfish, one named Romeo, one named Juliet, and she just found out that Juliet is, or that Romeo is pregnant, and uh, she's going through, um, she's going through her parents' divorce, and trying to understand and make sense of the world, and yeah, she does a lot of digging in her way, but it's really, I saw it about five years ago at MTC, and it's just a fantastic story, and for kids probably 12, 13 years old, I'd say that it's appropriate for them, but also for anybody who's gone through an experience like that or anybody who, who just understands what it's like to be that age and how hard it can be. But it's a half mask one woman show. Uh, to end the season, we have The Drowsy Chaperone, which is an absolute farce on theater and musicals. It's kind of told around this old curmudgeon man who sits in his chair all day and just listens to all his old records and really misses the days of jazz age theater. But it also it revolves around a ridiculous story of, you know, an improbable love affair and the end of, you know, a bride who was once a starlet who's now becoming, you know, who's now going to become a wife to a debonair groom and her producer who's trying to get her to stay in the business, but it's all done very tongue-in-cheek and all very silly. Fantastic music, that hit, and it's also won a couple of Tony Awards, so we're excited to have that on the lineup as well. How can we purchase tickets? Uh, you can go to globetheaterlive.com. You can also call our box office, 525-6400, and they're always willing to help. Okay, well, thank you very much, and congratulations on your new season. Thank you so much.